drops Hey guys, it's the Elf of the World. Today's video is kind of a sad video and I really didn't think I would ever make this video, at least not now, I guess. I've been planning this project for months on end and we've finally all come together and made something. A few months ago my favourite band Phyllis Van Pykelers broke up and I have been heartbroken ever since because they were literally the thing that managed to get me through secondary school and kept me going really, like if it wasn't for them I really actually don't know where I would have ended up. I also don't think I would have got this far on my YouTube channel without them because a lot of my first kind of videos were like lyric videos to their songs and I had so much fun making them. Without them I wouldn't have led on to doing what I'm doing now. Not only that but these people are my idols, especially Lawrence Beveridge. Lawrence if you're watching you have helped me through so much. I know that I've never really spoken to you that much and when I did I didn't say much at all but it was honestly just because I didn't know how I could thank you. You and your lovely music have impacted my life so much and I really don't know how I would be if it, it didn't exist so thank you from the bottom of my heart you guys really all mean so much to me. My first ever concert was a Phyllis Van Pykels concert and that was when I met Lawrence Beveridge for the first time and he could tell I was really nervous and like I didn't even have to say anything like he just knew and he was so kind like he waited he was just really patient he was kind and friendly and I was like I must have done something right to be like seeing these people like something in my life has gone right for me to be able to see them and listen to their music and discover them. I've made so many friends through this band and Daria and Mary and Holly are just a few names. Not once at your shows did I feel excluded by you guys and whenever I went up at the end like to say hi and stuff everyone was so genuinely friendly again especially Lawrence so Thank you to all of you, especially Lawrence Beveridge. You guys have just changed my life in so many ways. Your music was always an escape for me. Like, I had a really tough time in my secondary school and I hated it there, but I would just read RuPaul and Evelyn or listen to like Don Terriesto or something and just block everything out of my mind and just enjoy the music and the love and the fantasy world and they're literally, I don't know another band that has gone so in depth with what they do. Also Lawrence you're an amazing writer and please don't ever stop writing because I love your novels so much. In this video there are some photos and videos that Lost Hearts have sent in and you've touched us with your music in so many ways and we just want to give you one little thing just to say thank you and to just say how much we appreciate you. There are no words to describe how thankful I am, so just thank you to Lawrence, Luke, Drew, Shane and Kier for just bringing so much joy in my life and so many other people's. I really hope you enjoyed this video, I put so much effort into it and everyone involved has as well, so we really hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Dick. first heard Palace and Flames and that's when I first heard of you guys and I can honestly say I've been a fan ever since. I've loved the music, I love being able to talk and interact with you guys, you seem so kind and genuine and I just wanted to say thank you for the music. Best of luck with any future careers and projects, I wish you the best. Thank you. The shock to the oppressors, adjudicating creatures feel, let me feel something I can believe. Something, anything that I can't believe. Charmed to encounter your acquaintance, what a lovely dress. Fair, I must courageously declare that you look better, best. Sad to see 
have meant a lot to me for the past two years. Every time I put their music on I felt way better. Like if I was really upset I put a FEK sock CD on, basically every CD on and I felt really happy, like a hundred times more better. They like they always had a way of making me way more happier than I was that day. When I first met FEK they gave me confidence to talk to other people and every time I met them afterwards I had great confidence to speak to them. They gave me confidence to talk to anyone from actually being able to speak more to my friends, more to other, to actually talk to people. They also brought me closer to new people like I have my group of friends but I've met loads of other people through FUK. Without FEK I would literally just have like hardly any friends, like I would only have the few friends I have now. FEK made me have, again, more confidence to actually message people on Facebook and talk to them. I would really love to thank FEK for everything they've done. Made me, making me happy, making me more confident with speaking to people and actually like being near other people actually did, having really good music and producing great songs and a new style of music every time every style of like new song every time they had a new song and like from what, having the free concepts they had to just bruises I loved everything they made they were great they're even amazing live I they were the first band I ever seen I ever saw live and great experience to see them live really, they were so great. Their music never failed to put a smile on my face, it's never. Thank you FEK for everything you have done for me. I love you so much. So long, good night. We're not going to tell you. First of all, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to FEK and all of the Lost Hearts that I've managed to become friends with because I'm forever thankful for the amazing memories you've all given me. Like, I've made so many friends just because of this one band. And I think it's amazing that one band can just have such a connection with their fans. Like, every time I've been at an FEK gig, it's been one of the best nights of my life. And they're genuinely the loveliest people I have ever met in my entire life. And I'm just thankful. I've made so many amazing friends because of this band. And I honestly don't know where I would be without them today because they've just helped me grow as a person and but I don't know they've just been there through a lot of bad stuff and like I said I've made some of my best friends through this band I don't know what I'd do without some of them honestly like like it's sad that it's all over but I'm just grateful that I got the chance to experience some of the things I did because honestly FEK gigs were the best nights of my life and they're just wonderful. Everything they do, they, they, just, they, oh, they put so much work into everything. They're just wonderful, wonderful people and I'd like to thank them for everything they've done for me. Thank you, FEK. This longing our souls Our nature's unnatural Our sessions consume our nature's unnatural This longing consumes our souls Our nature's unnatural
So yeah, this is for Eel of the World's farewell to Fearless Vampire Killers video. <coughs> um, I'm sad that it is a farewell to Fearless Vampire Killers. Um, they're a band who have been very important in my life, both personally as a and as a musician um, and performer. Um, I've been lucky enough to play support for the guys. Um, I was very lucky to be able to sing with them again um, in Swansea very recently. Um, and I've got to say, I'm really sad to see this being the end. It's a community of fans that the band clearly love. Um, they're fantastic musicians, make really good music. <clears throat> I've loved everything they've created. And um, yeah, it's a sad time to see them go. I've seen them live quite a lot. Um, I've met some of my best friends and some of the best people in my life through a mutual love for FVK. Um, I've a, a lot of people who listen to my music or watch me doing these videos now I know through Fearless Vampire Killers and um, yeah I'm pretty sad to see this being the end of an era what comes next I'm really excited for I'm really excited to see what all of them do next um, no matter what it is um, so yeah I'm very sad to see as I said, the end of what's been a fantastic era but onwards and upwards to the next chapter so I want to say thank you to Lawrence, Keir, Luke, Drew and Shane big up to all you guys uh, thank you for having me play support for you at Tunbridge Wells Forum uh, last summer uh, thanks for inviting me to sing with you guys at Shield Fest and um, Thank you for supporting me and being so good with everybody who has ever come to your shows or supported you in any way. You guys have been amazing. And um, yeah, big love for me, guys. So let's see what the future holds, eh? Thank you to Village Vampire Killers for everything. So, concert, the best ones I've ever been to. From the amount that they were, they were constant. I thought it was amazing how much they toured. I am one of those people who want to speak to them after their concerts, every single time. Um, but even then, they're just still so nice. I loved how the internet connections were. So, on Twitter, with everything, in comments, um, replying to people. I think it was really amazing and once I came to one of the concerts Lawrence was like to me, oh, he knew who I was without me, you know I'm trying to explain it and it's not really coming out alright but um, yeah, that, yeah, it was just a really nice feeling I don't know if I had meant to talk to two for this one by killers or two people who are watching this I'm gonna keep changing anyway so guys thank you so much for everything honestly you made such an impact in my life I just wanted to say good luck to all of you in your futures and with what you do. Um, I'm sure if it's something to do with the internet, <laughs> everyone's going to be here to support you and um, yeah, we'll keep following you and seeing what you're doing. The interaction with the audience is something I've never experienced at any other concert and I think that's a real, excuse my Winnie the Pooh, good thing for them to have done. The dedication to the fans after the concerts when everyone's swamping them, trying to talk to them. Despite all that, they remain so calm, so kind. They're so kind. But 
I'm gonna hold it. Thank you for making everything so amazing. And oh, all the friends I've met, oh my God. And I'm gutted, I'm gutted it's come to an end. Honestly, I'm not gonna deny that. I'm sure everyone is. But let's look to the future and hope everything goes well for the rest of you in the, in the years to come. But yeah, thank you for everything. Goodbye. Honestly, I literally only have to say thank you for so many things. I think First Home Pie Killers was definitely the reason why I even managed to go through secondary school at all. And now that I'm in college doing what I love, art-wise, having been so inspired and nothing but inspired and fueled by the creativity of all of FEK, I really have nothing else to say other than thank you. And I wish nothing but the best for everyone involved. And I hope that everybody else had such a positive experience like I did too. So, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully not for the last time.